name is Casey, and today you and I are going to go through a 60 minute high intensity interval training class I like to call burn. So we're going to do a split of 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and at the end of class we're going to do an extra challenge, so stay tuned. So let's get started with a warm up today. We're going to come into a half squat and then bring our arms in some big circles, opening up the chest and warming up the shoulders. So I don't have any music playing today, just so you guys can hear me loud and clear. However, I highly recommend the Power Workout Playlist on Spotify or any other workout playlist on there that helps you feel motivated. All right, we're gonna take these arm circles in the opposite direction. Now we can start to notice the heart rate is rising slowly but surely. And we're getting nice and primed for the hard work that's to come. Now let's do a couple um, arm swings in and out, really opening everything up. Okay, let's come out of that half squat. And now bring your fingertips on your temples. We're gonna move the elbow towards the opposite knee. Just like so, driving the knee up, giving your abs a little brace. So if you have a small or medium pair of weights at home, this would be a great time to grab those. We're only gonna need them for a few exercises, and if you don't have them, I'm gonna give you guys alternative options. All right, pick up the pace a little bit, really drive that knee up. Now let's take this into a jumping jack. Just a slight bend in the knees. Core tight. more jacks. And now let's finish up this warm up with my favorite exercise, bird dog. So come find your tabletop position. <clears throat> find that perfect alignment. And then we're going to breathe in. As we breathe out, raise the opposite arm and leg, pulling forward and behind. So lengthen, drop it down, and switch. So freeze yourself with your core, your stomach muscles, shoulders, hips, glutes. Use, the, use those muscles to kind of stop you from wobbling. Okay, we've got one more around, one more on the right, one more on the left. Awesome. All right, we're gonna get started here. So our first exercise will involve the weights if you have them. Let me show you what that's gonna look like. 
So we're gonna do a triple exercise with the weights here. We're gonna do a deadlift, a curl, and a press. For your deadlift, bring your feet shoulder width, shoulders back, abs tight, and then you're gonna tip from your hip, bring um, the weights down to your knees, and then you'll pull up, squeeze your glutes, bring your shoulders back, curl, press as you brace without arching your back. And then we'll just undo it and do it again. Deadlift, curl, press. If you don't have weights at home, here's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna come into a squat and pulse it out for the full 40 seconds. All right, so those are your two options. I'm gonna get my timer started. Whenever you hear a ding ding, that means go. Whenever you hear a ding, that means rest. 40, 20, let's go. So deadlift, curl, press, or squat, pulse in five, four, three, two, one. So we go deadlift, curl, press, uncurl. Give you a side view, deadlift. So we're working the legs, we're working the arms, shoulders, core, pretty much everything. Okay, that's our rest. All right, so number two is always gonna be a little cardio. For our first round, we are gonna touch our fingertips to the opposite toes. So get ready for that. In three, two, one. Just like in the warm up, you wanna kinda of drive that leg up and then keep your arms up into cactus between wraps. Taking a little breath out every time you raise up a leg. chest lifted. Three, two, one. Okay, same thing. Let's go back to the top with our deadlift curl press or the squat pulse. 
Three, two, one. Deadlift. Side view. So it's not a squat. A deadlift is more like a hip hinge. Just coming down to the knees and then right back up, just like so. Almost there. Okay. Cardio, fingertips to opposite toes. This one's next. Cheat yourself. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. We got one more round. Back to our deadlift curl press. Or the squat pulse. Alright, get ready guys. Shoulders back. Core tight. Deadlift. Pull. Curl. Press. Whew, my heart rate is up. That's good. That's how we get all the wonderful benefits from HIIT training is the heart rate never really gets a chance to fully go down until we're finished. And that being said, we are burning calories even when we're done with the class. So you're burning calories all day long. And rest. Cardio. This move right here, that's up next. All right, you ready? In three, two, one, and go. Taking a little breath out with each kick. Get ready to lift up. 
V-sit or boat pose. This is boat pose. All right, here we go, guys. Lift up. Shoulders back. Long spine from tailbone to head. And then consider the arm pumps. Make sure you're uh, sitting up nice and tall throughout the whole interval. No slouching. You got this. Almost there. Take left hand and left foot, take it to the side, 
Right side follows. So we're gonna do three steps to the left and then take it back. All while keeping the shoulders above wrists and hips above knees. Woo, this is a hard one. So this class gets a little bit harder as you go through it, but we're nice and warmed up so it'll work to our advantage. Woo. Three, two, one. Wow, that's harder than it looks. For core this round, we've got Superman. We're gonna come on our stomachs. Woo, that feels nice. And then bring your arms forward. And we're gonna hold this position right here, lifting the legs, head, arms, shoulders up. All right, that's our time. Let's go. Hold it. Now the challenge is controlling your breath. Take a nice extended exhale. You can do it, stay up there. Deep breaths. Finish it up. Ooh, man. All right, always bend your knees to drop the weights down. For cardio, we've got our lateral bear crawl. All right, here we go again. Tabletop, curl the toes under, lift up. One, two, three, bring it back. One, Level. They're 
both a few inches off the ground. Halfway. Tell yourself you can finish this interval. I know you can. Do you know you can? 10. And five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. Lunge jump up next, and then we have one more round of the circuit. All right, find your lunge. Get ready to explode up and switch. Here we go. Whew. You got it. Break it up if you need to. Ooh, my legs are getting tired. I don't know about you guys. Oh, come on, we got five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, that was brutal. Okay, one more round. And then we can move on to our last circuit. All right, last round with the split lunge, split squat, and shoulder press. So once more, find your lunge, and exhale, brace, press. Pull your navel in towards your spine. Switch sides, guys. Stay strong. You're stronger than you think you are. You can finish this. And rest. Nice work. Lateral bear crawl. Toes curl under, lift down up, one, two, three, one, two, three. Think about that cool drink of water in about a minute. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. We're going to come back into a really quick stretch. Bring your knees to the edge of the mat. Sit back on your heels. And get ready for your last exercise of the circuit, the lunge jump. Final lunge, get ready guys, here we go. Explode and switch. Try to keep it continuous without any hesitations. You can do it. I'm struggling, I know you are 
too, but that's how you get stronger. Pushing you out of your comfort zone. Whew. Come on, guys. We're in this together. Ooh. Come on. Oh, man. Amazing. Nice work. We only have one more circuit, guys. That means we're two thirds of the way done. So, take a minute for yourself. Let your heart rate go down a little bit. So we've got one more circuit. And it's going to be challenging, I'm not going to lie.
quick knees to chest stretch, wrapping side to side. Our final new exercise of the day is a little more jumping. So we're gonna do a burpee push-up. Here's what it looks like, guys. Hands down, jump or step back, jump or step forward, and rise. If you want more, do a push-up in your plank position. All right, you've got options. Pick your poison. Jumping jacks. Okay, get ready. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. 
back raise. All right, arms up, tip it back, come up on the toes. Remember, elbows at head, pointing forward. Hard brace in the abs when you go over the head. Squeeze. Come on, finish it up, 10 seconds. Take your breath back. Big breath out. Come on, you got it. Almost there. Almost there. Oh. Last one of the day, guys. Burpees. <clears throat> all right, think about every last bit of energy that you have left. We're gonna use it all up. jump into that challenge. What we're gonna do is 40 seconds of regular push-ups on your toes. So only drop down your knees if you absolutely have to. 
We want to try to see how many we can get on our toes so that next week we can come back and beat our record and just get stronger and stronger every week. So find that perfect push-up position. We're going to come in up, up into a high plank. Hands maybe just outside the shoulders, but underneath the muscles of the chest because that's your prime mover in addition to your triceps. So we're going to come up into that plank, pull your belly button in. We're going to drop down, bring the elbows out wide, down to the el uh, chest down to elbows, press back up. See how many you can get in that 40 seconds. I want you guys to count because after class, I'm going to have you comment below with the number of push-ups you were able to get this week. So I hope you're ready. This is our final little thing of the day. And we are gonna go in three, two, one, go. Push-ups. Count them. deeper stretch here. Now remember that number of push-ups. Because like I said, next week we're going to go back and we're all going to beat our record. So mine today I believe was 13. But I'd like to improve and eventually get up to 20 in that 40 seconds. So what's your goal? stretch the other side, the hamstring, so bend into one leg and bring the other leg out to the side with the toe up, leg nice and straight to feel it in the back here. shoulders a little up so bring one arm across the body gently press it there with your other forearm and switch all right thank you guys so much for joining me again my name is Casey this was burn and comment below this post with the number of push-ups you were able to get in that 40 second interval because next week we're going to get better and better all right have a great day guys